So you just saw some hip flexor strength exercises that I like. Let's talk about why I like those exercises. So for general strength of a muscle, something that we definitely want to do is train at long muscle length because this provides better general strength adaptation than training at short muscle length. Okay, so in the case of the hip flexors, that means training in a position where the hip is extended down here. This is when the muscles across the front of the hip are lengthened, okay? But it doesn't mean just getting to that position at some point in the exercise. Specifically, we have to have a lot of resistance in that position, okay? So we want resistance torque in that position. So that means we need to provide resistance that is perpendicular to the body segment that we are trying to move, okay? So for example, in a bicep curl, the highest resistance torque is here when your forearm is horizontal because it is perpendicular to the pull of gravity, which is straight down, okay? So in the case of those knee drives, the resistance is horizontal on purpose so that it's perpendicular to the thigh in a position where the hip flexors are lengthened. In the other two exercises, we're positioning the body horizontally on purpose so that in the case of the leg raise, the leg is horizontal when the hip flexors are lengthened, horizontal so it's perpendicular to gravity. And in the sit-ups, the torso is horizontal when the hip flexors are lengthened. Another notable component of the knee drives and the sit-ups is that the working leg is bent. The knee is bent. That means that the rectus femoris, your long quad muscle, is more lengthened and that means it's going to contribute more to the hip flexion. The rectus femoris is a very easy muscle to neglect in your strength training. So to have it involved in one of your hip flexion exercises is good. Now what about an exercise like a hanging leg raise where we're tucking the knees up to the chest? What we get from that is isolation of the psoas muscle and uh, training it at short muscle length. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm not sure there's anything relevant about it either. I'm not sure there's any reason we need to do that. Hanging leg raises are better for the upper body and core than for the hip flexors. What about doing high knees with a band around your thighs? The issue here is we're applying no resistance in the position where the hip flexors are lengthened and applying all of the resistance at the top of the movement. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's probably just not very influential on your hip flexor strength. 